I applied the most disgusting face mask ever. Really disgusting. That was so disgusting. That was so disgusting. So disgusting. Really disgusting. That was so disgusting. I applied it on my face, slept with it for eight hours or more for seven days straight. And this is what happened to my face. Hechi is in Spain, but the S is silent. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Well, if you are new to my channel, I'm Cheche. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, I will be posting lifestyle videos every single week and occasionally I will be posting chess videos if I feel like. Subscribe to her channel, it's a win to win situation. Rip this convo. Anyways, I tried, I tried. DIY, DIY overnight, overnight face mask for 7 days straight. So here I am to share my pros and cons, the recommendations and my experience with you guys. To be honest, this was one of the worst experience of my skincare routine I've ever had. This DIY face mask was really disgusting. I put this face mask on my face and slept with it. I slept with it for 8 hours or more. And also, I was putting this face mask for 7 days. That was so disgusting. That was so disgusting. This face mask is puffy and Aloe vera mixed together. Day one, and I cleansed my face. Uh, I finished making this. Oh, look at this, it's really beautiful. It smells good. So I'm just gonna apply this uh, using brush all over my face and leave this overnight. Okay. I'm not gonna ruin my pillows. I'm definitely gonna put some cloth on my pillow. Voy a cerrar los bajo la tierra tierra. Nadie va a comer y de hambre morirá. Madre quiero saber. On the first day, I was very motivated, and the moment I applied it on my face, I felt nothing. The fuck does that mean? A few moments later, everything started like <laughs> everything started hardening up. On the next day, when I wake up. My face was like plastic. <laughs> Everything was like stuck, hardened, and like <laughs> I couldn't even talk. That morning, my mom came into my room and she got afraid <laughs> because every bloody thing was on my face. And <laughs> when I wake up, my mother and my father both were looking at me and laughing. <laughs> I woke up with the worst feeling. Someone could never have in their life, seriously. So when I wake up, all this baby hair on my face was stuck to my face. And it was hard to take off, so I had no choice. I just washed it off. Uh, guys, so this is how I woke up this morning. Um, I can literally see that <coughs> the pigmentations on my cheek has faded away. Those are little pimples I have on my cheeks has gone away they are not here like anymore wow so that is uh, like uh, something to be really happy about anyway i felt my face was a little bit swollen or like plump uh, that was a kind of good thing but it was therapeutic for me i don't regret it a little bit of pause was racing on my on this area okay, okay we get it <clears throat> and there was a little bumps on my uh, forehead as well as my nose was a little bit of uh, shit or you can say like the skin of the nose is taking off Yuck. it's just went day one and this is what happened after applying once this mask on my face so let's see how this is going the next few days keep in touch She's got a point. It was so hard knowing that you had to wake up with the worst feeling on your life. Yes, I put this mask on my second day because I had no choice because I've already started it and I'm doing it for the content. And when I woke up the next day, guess what? All the tiny palms on my face has faded away. No texture, no texture. Whoa! And also, I had a little bit of pigmentation on my skin and I know this might sound a little weird but 
They really have said in a bit like very noticeably. Can I get another wow? Wow! So, yeah. Then when it comes to day three, when I wake up on the next day, my skin was super moistened. Give me another one. Wow! And then I had to take a break. Call the ambulance. Whoa, 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 whoa. Because, well, I was in this cousin's place and we were playing in the garden so when it comes to day four there were so many bug bites on my face and my skin was literally breaking out so i had no choice but to apply this on my face because i'm doing this for the content so yeah so i applied this on my face i woke up with this disgusting face mask on my face and i washed it off and i went to the mirror oh my god there is no any sign of breakouts or whatsoever no bug bites no breakouts no nothing just crystal talented clear brilliant skin. incredible amazing show stopping spectacular i know this sounds really fake but oh my god this happened overnight i was so surprised to be honest i just went on with day five day six and day seven. this girl don't give up she's an icon she's a legend and she is the moment now come on now. I will do anything for my content to feed you guys. Okay, but nothing very much has been changed in, at the end of the seven days unless the disappearing of bumps, the little bit of pigmentation has been disappeared and especially the breakouts. And yeah, I feel like my skin is really, really glowy and they were like very moisturized so that I don't even need to put any sort of moisturizer on my face. So that is up with my 7 day experience of applying DIY coffee aloe vera overnight face mask for 7 days. Do I recommend this? Well, I don't recommend you. By the way, why I don't recommend you? Because you need good sleep. When you're putting this face mask on, you can't have like a real peaceful sleep. No, never. But it worked. If you have breakouts and if you wanna try something up, just go for it. Okay. I applied this sticky, very silky, coffee smelling, yucky face mask on my face for for seven days, eight hours, and I slept with it. I did everything for the content for you guys. Feel free to subscribe and support me so that I can bring you more of those stuff, you know. So if you guys wondering, I have like dry to normal acne prone skin, but I've got no acne. Like, comment, share, subscribe. See you guys in another video. Bye. I'm so fucking happy, y'all.